All right, guys, hey, thank you. Welcome back to the channel. So, on this one, we're going to be taking a look at Sakura's latest trial. This is for obviously the new Sakura and um, fireworks Sakura and um, or Sakura. I've always called her Sakura, but I think people like to call her Sakura because there's that whole weird otaku thing about you need to pronounce names the same way as Japanese people, even though well, they speak Japanese, but fair enough. Um, so she is a uh, I think originally she was maybe like a Chinese New Year unit or something like that because her kind of design and the way that she acts and things like that uh, with the fireworks in China, they've got a big thing about fireworks at New Year, I suppose like we all do, but it's very significant over there. Um, so I think that's maybe what she was to do with and I believe in China she was called Dark Sakura, um, but here we've obviously just changed that to... Um, Firework Sakura. Interestingly enough, they've also lightened her skin. Like, she had a sort of a, a, I want to say like a more tanned complexion in the Chinese version, but here they've just really, I don't know, made her skin a lot paler and they went with the whole firework route. So, I'm guessing somehow using fireworks at the wrong time of the year is maybe bad in China, hence dark. I don't know, but they've, they've changed their kit. She wasn't that good in China as far as I know, but based on her kind of performance in the trial, she seems alright, I must say. She does seem okay, but you can never really tell with these things. Like, sometimes units are completely trash in their trial, and other times they're great in their trial. But then, in actual usage, it's not always a reflection of what the unit's like. So, as always, don't pass judgement on the unit based on the trial and I will do an individual breakdown video later. Normally I would put them out straight after, like I've done these two videos but I'm not going to be doing that until later on. Um, obviously with her being a divination unit you've probably already got your own priorities and stuff like that so you're not immediately going to switch to her anyway. And with regards to Chun-Li, I've already recorded that so I've done her trial. I'm not going to pass judgement on the unit, but I will just say that don't go instantly by and are thinking this is going to be a, a different version of Flame Chun-Li. She's only a different version of Flame Chun-Li in design. I mean, literally, she's a reskin. She's a blue version of that Chun-Li. Um, but the kits are nothing like each other, so if you're watching this video first before anything else, I will review the unit later. Um, it won't be an in-depth review because Obviously, I'm not going to have the unit because I'm not buying her. But I'll do my best to kind of make a decision if I think she's worth buying or not. But when it comes to Legend of the Units, I've got a kind of new opinion on them. But we'll talk about that during her trial video, right? So let's continue on with this Sakura trial. And um, the thing you can see here about Sakura that's pretty good is she seems to have quite a lot of follow-ups on this um, firework attack, which is obviously very good. It does seem to do quite a lot of damage. Um, I've not actually read her kit yet, so I don't know why it's doing so much damage, but it, it certainly does seem to do quite a lot of damage. And if that is a true reflection of the unit, then I could see her being pretty good for PvP. Um, but again, I do really need to take a, a better look at her kit and understand what that mechanic is, why it's hitting for so much and stuff like that. Because obviously on these teams, I don't think any time, she, she wasn't really running with any like buffing units or anything, so obviously if you were running her alongside a, a unit that was buffing damage etc, she would obviously do a lot more, so um, she does look promising in that regard. So we'll move on here, um, I think this is team, what, 3 now? I'm not so sure, but I think it's team 3. You'll kind of notice again, I feel like one thing you can take away from these trials is Although it's not all the time, but a lot of the time anyway, if you tend to want to use the unit a lot in the combo, I'd say more often than not, they end up being a reasonably good unit. Sometimes, but not all the time, that's not always the case, but on this trial, we did use Sakura a lot, so I think that's fairly positive. So we'll move on here with this team build. 
and um, I was trying as much as possible to basically get speed if I could. So, like, at times I was dropping certain units into the team and the whole purpose of them being there was essentially just to make us go faster. There was nothing else to it. So I think, that was, was this the only time I used a buffer? It may well have been the only time I used a buffer. So we'll get to see what kind of damage she does here. Again, a lot of it comes because she seems to be getting these follow-ups, which those of you who have read her kit will probably know why. I've not read the kit yet, so I don't know. But you can see there, she's done her attack and there's a follow-up attack. It, it does a lot, you know. Um, whether there's an RNG involved in that with like how much damage the follow-up attack is or if the follow-up attack's guaranteed. But from this trial, she seemed to always follow up. So I'm going to assume that there was something there about that, okay? Which I guess is like the second last team now. So we're getting to the end of me having to ramble and think about what to say for eight plus minutes on a video <laughs> where realistically I'm just showing you teams, but I kind of need to say something, don't I? I kind of just sit here and stare at the screen and go, there's the teams. That would make for an exciting adventure. But yeah, here, I basically knew that Sagat could do a lot of damage. So the idea was we would have Zangief at the front to make sure that we didn't have the other Zangief at the front because if I didn't put Zangief on this with the other units that was available, we would end up having Beast Zangief on front and if he was in front, he would probably end up dying and then that would screw everything up and you'd have to go again. But with OG Zangief on front, Worst case scenario, if he was to die, we still have got a combo chain that we could complete and we would be okay. But, as you can see here, although it came close, OG Zangief didn't actually die and that was that one cleared. And I think possibly that would maybe, for some people, be potentially the hardest fight that was available in that whole kind of lineup. I don't think Sakura's trial was difficult, so again, I've probably just spent, what, eight minutes talking on a video that is going to get about 200 views, because usually if the trials are easy, these videos don't do very well. If the trial's more difficult, the videos do pretty well. I have a feeling, however, that the Chun-Li one will do significantly better than the Sakura one, because the Chun-Li one, was a lot harder, mainly because they presented some difficult teams for some reason. I don't know why they do that. I mean, if, if you're going to give a unit the best chance of doing well with regards to the people sell it, buying them, and you want to manipulate things, I guess you would not give them teams like Bison and Sagat to face, but for the credit, they didn't do that. And in Water Chun Li's case, they have um, given her quite a difficult trial, in my opinion. But that is Sakura's trial done. It's in the bag. That's you got all your rewards. Happy viewing, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.